Hello everybody, today we're going to be going over TriHackMe's Junior Security Analyst Intro Room that is part of the SOC Level 1 Pathway. As usual, this is going to be more of a demonstration of Task 3 than an explanation. I'm going to be linking the room in the description so you can go through it, and I recommend that you do so. However, I will give a brief overview of each of the tasks. So let's hop right into it, into Task 1, a career as a Junior Associate Security Analyst. Again, I'm just going to briefly go over it because I know that you guys can read. Basically, it just says that in the junior security analyst role, you'll be a triage specialist. It kind of goes through and describes what that might include and what qualifications there are or desired, most common at least. And then it has this nice little chart that kind of shows the different tiers of a security operations analyst. Anyway, moving into the questions, what will be your role as a junior security analyst? Answer is up here. You'll be a triage specialist. All right, moving over into task two, security operations center. This just defines what a SOC is, a security operations center, and it has some good graph and kind of shows how it all works together. There's no question here. It just wants us to read it, which I will leave to you. Going on to task three, which we're really here for, a day in the life of a junior associate, security analyst. You'll go here and click on view site and that'll start it. Basically just says kind of what your job responsibilities are. Anyway, moving on to the questions. We click the view site button. We did that. What was the malicious IP address in the alerts? So over here we have a SIM or at least a very simplified version of one. And if we look through here, we can see different events. Like uh, here we have a logon failure, multiple failed login attempts, and then they find the login successfully. That's all good, that seems normal. And a successful SSH authentication attempt on port 22. Yep, that's its default port, so that seems legitimate. But then you have this unauthorized connection attempt detected from this IP address to port 22. It's an unauthorized attempt, so could be malicious. I'm gonna go ahead and just copy that IP address because if you click on it, it goes to this page where you have to check the IP address and you're checking to see if that IP address is malicious. And it was found in the database to be malicious and it used an open source database like Cisco Talos Intelligence to perform reputation checks. Now that we know that it's malicious, we need to escalate it to a staff member. But if we remember, we need to put in that address here. And then to whom did you escalate the event? That's the next one. If you look through, you have a sales executive, a security consultant, an information security architect, and a SOC team lead. It makes the most sense that you would tell your SOC team lead about it to who you're escalating the event to. And his name is Will Griffith, which is the answer to this one. And you get the permission to block it. And so now you just have to block that address and you're done and you get the code and that's the room very very short quick video later videos will be a lot longer like if you liked and subscribe if you'd like to see more